All right, before I elaborate what's going on here, I've got to tell you one thing. These earbuds are my new dailies. I absolutely love them. Now, there is one reason why you might not be able to wear them at all, but otherwise, uh, yeah, these are the real deal. So what am I doing here? Well, I've had these earbuds for about two weeks. I've charged them once, and they're still at about 50% charge. Ridiculous. So I've come on a camping trip and tomorrow I'm gonna do a big long hike to see if I can finally run the battery out on these. Uh, while I do that, I'm gonna tell you and give you a little bit of a review about these earbuds. Let's go. Good morning, uh, about to set off on the hike. Uh, I'm just trying to work out where I'm gonna put this earbuds case because uh, yeah, it's huge. I complained about the last Audio Technica earbuds case I tried. This one is so big, I feel like I'm straight up getting trolled. Look at that. One thing I do like, the USB-C is on the back here. So your earbuds case stands proudly at attention while it charges. Yeah, so inside the case is actually a pretty similar story. Open it up. Yeah, look, they're huge. Um, and their size is actually why you may not be able to wear them at all. For example, my partner tried these on and they could barely fit into her ears at all. If you have small ears or a head full of metal, these aren't for you. I feel like they're behind my eyeballs. If you can put them in your ears though, I actually find they stay in there pretty nice and snugly. So good fit for some and just don't fit for others. <laughs> all right, let's walk. I was pretty surprised to find they're not actually touch controlled. Instead, they have these tiny little buttons. Yeah, look, they are on the smaller side, so they do take a little bit of getting used to, but once you do get used to them, I actually find they're better than touch controls because you get that physical feedback when you press them. They're also a lot less likely to freak out when they get a little wet. They're also IPX4 rated, so if they do get a bit wet, it's not a worry. This is a good thing because where I'm heading is very moist. Okay, so I've just come to uh, a very large waterfall. You can probably hear it coming up. I wanted to use it to show you just how good the noise cancelling on these are. As you can hear, it is very, very loud. But when I got here, I couldn't hear this. No, I, I heard this. You can barely hear it. I mean... Yeah, the noise cancelling on these is absolutely ridiculous. I cannot fault it at all. I love it. Actually, while I'm here, let's test out the microphone on these. Uh, this is what they sound like. I'll let future Toby decide if they're good or not. What do you reckon, future Toby? Future Toby. Oh, me? Well, look, the microphone, it's a, it's an earbud microphone. They're not going to sound amazing, but for calls, they do a really good job. Also, I'm standing next to a waterfall in this video, and you can barely hear it. The noise isolation on these for the mic end is also really decent. So, yeah, I give it a big old thumbs up. Nice. Keep up the good work, future Toby. Thank you. Uh, also, I'm at the top of the waterfall now. Look at that. Whoa. Can't beat a good waterfall. Um, I guess now I take the long trek back into town and uh, listen to an uh, audiobook. See how it goes. So uh, the sun is well and truly out. Beautiful day. I've actually found that this track just has you walk down a fairly thin and fairly fast road. So I um, actually had to take my headphones out for a bit because uh, turns out even without the noise cancelling, they they block out a lot of sound, so um, no earbuds while I walk down this main road because, uh, yeah, I almost got clipped by a car. Fun. <laughs> Quick battery check, and they're still at 50%. All right, I've filled up on coffee. I'm back on the trail. Let's talk about how these actually sound. For audiobooks and podcasts, I can't complain. Uh, everything sounds amazing. Voices come through super crisp and clear. It's a delight to listen to the human voice through these. Uh, what can I say? Okay, but how about music? Well, let me take you back to when I first put these on. Let's see how they sound. What's the bassiest song I can think of? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Okay, all right, that's enough. I'm gonna like these, I think. <laughs> so yes, I did get a very distinct uh, case of bass face. Oh. So the bass on these is uh, heavy, but I found it doesn't actually come at the detriment of the rest of the music. Everything sounds nice and warm, and personally, that's just how I like it. 
These earbuds get me. <laughs> the awesome thing is, even if you're not a huge fan of big, dirty, stinking bass like I am, you can still kind of make these work for you by changing the EQs in the app. I'll show you the app in a sec, but right now I need to focus on getting out of this forest. I, uh, I've actually kind of lost track of where I am while I've been doing this. Ooh, butterflies. The app is clean, simple, and efficient. You open it up and you'll see all your main options here, including the ability to switch EQs, all of which sound great by the way, and you can even change codecs if that's something that matters to you. Click on the headphones and you get a few more settings, including what certain button presses do, which is useful. It all just allows you to really make these earbuds as good as possible for you, and I love that. Connecting these to pretty much anything with Bluetooth is an absolute breeze as well. You turn Bluetooth on on your device and these are pretty much always going to show up. Also, I'm fairly certain I've wandered onto someone's private property, so uh, I'm going to get moving. <laughs> my camera ran out of battery, so I'm on my phone now. A review of the S22 coming soon. Subscribe. Yeah, what can I say? With the app, the amazing Bluetooth, the great sound, and the ridiculous battery life, these are just a really good pair of no fuss earbuds. They will do the job every time you ask them to do something. And look, what more can you ask for, really? Also, I <laughs> almost, almost walked into the van. It's over. Yeah, so if you've got slim ears or slim pockets, these earbuds, they're probably not for you. But for everybody else, I can safely say you will not be let down. They come highly recommended. And they are still not out of battery. I've failed. <laughs> If you're looking for similar earbuds but want something a little bit cheaper, I've also reviewed Audio-Technica's ATH SQ-1TWs. You can check that out right now. Oh, yes. Okay.